listening. Every time I go to bed, I hear you two. Selfish, and he has no sense of time. Oh, no. Stop it. Uh, excuse me, do you speak English? I like to think so. Not enough to get by anyways. You? Yeah, I... Wait, what do you mean? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I speak English. I kind of guessed. What can I do for you? I'm looking for this place, Old Temple Academy. I thought it was around here. It's supposed to be a kung fu school, but I'm totally lost. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. Yeah, I, I think I know where it is. I mean, it's not too far. I, I can give you a ride. <laughs> I mean, it'll be easier than explaining where it is. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that'd be really great. My name's Amanda, by the way. Or Amy. Either one is fine. Oh, nice to meet you, Amy. I'm wet. brings you to Hong Kong. Are you thinking of becoming Chinese? <laughs> no, no. I, uh, I just finished college and I'm doing a bit of traveling. You know, figuring out what to do with my life, that sort of thing. How's that going? Well, I've only been traveling for a few weeks, so no real progress in the life front. But I'm checking out Hong Kong for a while. What about you? You got it all figured out? I wouldn't say that. You know, I got a few family issues I'm working on clearing up. Maybe once that's dealt with, I'll get on to figuring out life. Oh, yeah? You got any pointers? So this is the Bam Bam Club. Back home, I saw a restaurant that looked a little bit like this. <laughs> Don't let the locals hear you say that. Oh, yeah? You got any pointers? Well, the trick to Hong Kong is learning to live by ancient Chinese wisdom. Look both ways before crossing the street. Always buckle your seatbelt and only apply makeup at red lights. Don't text and drive, you know, that kind of thing. Words to live by. Pretty cool place for a kung fu school. Unfortunately, the school isn't in the temple. Not that temple, anyway. Didn't they use this temple as a backdrop for what was it? Fists of Carnage? <laughs> no, it was using the grandfathers of the Shaolin Fist. supposed to be in a temple? Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to sign up for some kung fu classes. I read about your school in my guidebook. Ah, uh, your guidebook. Yeah. It said you teach a style with a long lineage, but in spite of all that, it's still considered very effective. You want to take classes, okay. And you, did you also read about this place in some book? Well, I... Uh... Wait. I know you. Yes, Sifu Kwa. I used to be your student. I'm Wei. Wei Shen. Ah, uh, yes. 
the one who went to America. So you brought this girl back with you. Uh, your skill level with girls, very good. Now time to assess your skill level in Kung Fu. Time in America has rusted your skills. All men must rule some time. Not American. I try to steer them in the right direction, especially the younger ones. But they all want to be Song Ong Yi. Now, now I just train them in the ways of my art. Try to teach them compassion and discretion, and pray for the best. See, I don't think there's much more you can do. Oh, Jade Rat. The Song Dynasty, right? Very good. The Song Dynasty? That's like a thousand years old or something. That's real? Part of a set of twelve. One for each animal of the Chinese calendar. The Sifu? You used to have the whole set. What happened to the others? Stolen. By a former student. Corrupted by the triads. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sifu. So was I. Hmm. This collection meant a lot to me. Sometimes you just have to let things go. I should close up. It was good to see you again, Wei. And your lovely fiance. What? <laughs> okay, uh, that was fun. What do you want to do now? Uh, I need to get home, but uh, I will definitely call you later. I found one of your statues. Oh, the dog. Excellent. I must confess, I was surprised to see you back. I had hoped that you might have escaped Hong Kong. Escaped its influences, its problems. We took them with us when we left. So coming back didn't change much. Are you ready to confront them now? Yes, I think so. 
What would you like to learn? Wow, 